I think there's something in that. I think what well, a lot of people, you see what's happening in, in the gold markets. Uh, people using gold as a hedge. You see people using land, timber, water and wood as a hedge. We're starting to see the basis of this now in the oil markets uh, with, again, despite newspapers around the Western world banging on about demand destruction, we're actually seeing futures markets pointing upwards strongly ever more. Um, Hugh, this is somewhat at odds with your view this morning, <laughs> isn't it? Let's, uh, let's bring I mean, you yeah, into but, the conversation but, but, around yeah, the desk. You know, I mean, Liam's put out a case. Yeah, sure, but uh, I, I, I'm sure the viewers, who've been, if they've been watching the show on a loop now for, for a while, will have noticed something. That these guys keep coming on, and they keep saying the same thing, but they keep thinking it's a minority view, right? It is, Liam, you, you ain't a contrarian, right? It is not. Well, a, it, is not it is not. Hey, with listen, respect, it is not. With respect, it is not a minority. It is not a minority. It is not a minority view. It is not a minority view to say you want to buy index-linked bonds. It is not a minority view to say that you believe there's going to be inflation and that you're shorting bonds. You are so consensual. Yeah. Please do not. I mean, best of luck with that strategy, but don't perceive yourself to be contrarian. The basic point here let me, is, is there's no problem of Greece or Spain meeting uh, their interest payments. Even at uh, a debt GDP ratio of 130%, with real interest rates uh, at 1%, 2%, that's a small pra fraction of GDP uh, to meet their interest obligations. Uh, so, Hugh, you're yeah. shaking your head. Um, hello. <laughs> I, can I tell you about the real world? Um, Greece is paying. 7% on two year money. That's not, let me tell you, prices are falling in real terms. We're talking about 9%. No. What you refer to is you refer to the rate for the non cheating countries. No, right? no, no, so no, you have saying, fiscal probity. This is not if you countries. organize your country in a, room, a, in a sensible manner and show fiscal they have restraint, that, they have they just like you finish. You. How, how, how on earth can you possibly? Greece is a cheats charter. But have we so got the time? Well, the problem is, in the last few years... Well, how long have we been at this? How long has this Greek question been on the table? About 10 weeks, maybe? I mean, I don't, uh, know, I don't know. Was Jeffrey skiing two months ago? Because I was working and Gillian was working, right? So we can tell you about the real world, what, because it doesn't uh, look like two months ago. That's just it's a ridiculous. very low This is low. preposterous. Yeah, to say that this started, your, say that this started uh, 10 weeks ago uh, is the height of absurdity, right? I'm talking we about the market reactions you know, right speculators now. So watch, who are your in, a speculators who are engaged to be alert to dangers in the market. We're calling for these these uh, potential threats to the viability of the system last year, not, not 10 weeks ago. So Mr. Henry, to Mr. Are, are you, are you, to Mr. Henry you, can, you can say farewell because you never learn and we're going to stop your, uh, your attacks okay. on ordinary people's right, future. Uh, uh, Mr. Rasmus, are you, are, you, are you worried, Hugh Henry? He should be worried. These champagne socialists, yeah? When I travel business class, I meet these guys. I meet these socialists, yeah? These socialists who travel business and first class through the prosperity created by entrepreneurs and risk takers like me and the people that I represent. Now, we are confronted, our society today is confronted with a bleak future owing to poor policy decisions. The truth today has become unpalatable and these jokers don't want to hear it. They are now fr afraid because the magnitude of the problem confronting Greece is now greater than these guys and their ability to respond to it. So now they have to apportion blame elsewhere. And I am a convenient scapegoat for Greece okay. breaking all of the rules.